have Evelyn Lozada here with me tonight. How are we doing? I'm good. I'm good. Happy to be here today. And Tammy Roman has really evolved. I was telling her offline, like, yo, I feel like you started with reality TV and you're sort of carving different lanes. She's on TV now and you've sort of done the same thing. I asked her about, you know, has Evelyn given you tips and she told me how you kind of, kind of partner. What, how excited are you about her new endeavors? I'm very excited. I think, you know, we all sign on to do reality TV for a reason and a purpose for me. And I'm sure for Tammy, it wasn't to be famous. It's just really to, you know, I had a business at the time. So it's just to make the most out of that. And I think um, sometimes it's a little hard, but once you start figuring out your niche, you know, it works. And it's been, and it's worked for the both of us. So What do you think, what do you think the fans' biggest misconception was of Tammy? I guess maybe last season. Um, last season, probably for me, something that really, really bothered me was people saying that she was a, um, a bully or just very, very angry because... I've seen all of Tammy and you know of course the world just gets to see a snippet of who she is so that was it was hard for me um, and it was for the both of us because there was so much controversy so that was probably one of the hardest things but when you sign on to do reality TV it's what it is you know you have to take the good with the bad you know how do you deal with tough days when you know well obviously the show isn't airing right now but you know when we see an episode and we don't see you in a so good light and we have to talk about it or your fans kind of going how do you sort of take that you get to do Jesus on or what do you do you know I do I so I do but I just I'm so used to it and I'm so used to controversy that if there isn't any controversy it's kind of like so you know I've grown to have thick skin I've grown to um, accept that everybody's gonna have an opinion you know I've been called every name in the book Tammy has Shawnee has we all have you know so it's just a part of putting yourself out there um, and you really put yourself out there with Ayanna Van Zandt. Yes. Love Ayanna, beloved. You know, she'd be like, beloved. <laughs> um, Ayanna has been such a blessing to me. We actually just recently talked over text, and, um, you know, she's just really helped me through my whole process and just really opened my eyes to things that you don't think about, you know, or things, you know, growing up that affect you today. And, um, She's been great, you know, and she came at a time in my life where I really needed some type of guidance or, you know, why am I the way I am or why am I so angry and why do I accept the things that I accept? So it's been, she's been great. She's been great. Before you tweet or do things, do you ever think about, like, what is she going to say or no? You know what? Sometimes, I would think that. Like, what would you do? No, what would I, do? I know. Sometimes I'm like, God, I hope you're on laying online. Because, you know, sometimes people will catch me on a day and I'm like, you know what? I can't fully change who I am and act like I'm Mother Mary or a nun. You know what I mean? Like, I'm who I am. But um, sometimes I do wonder that, but she, has, she hasn't said anything. But, yes, I do think about that. Um, I have to ask you, is there any chance that maybe Ocho and Yayala may join forces and sit down and have a kumbaya or something? You know what? I've always, I know that um, his people were interested and there was talks, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. And you wouldn't be involved in that? No, no, not unless Iyanla was like, okay, this is something that maybe can heal him. You know, I don't, I don't hate him. You know, I'm not bitter. You know, people are like, really? You believe in love? You still believe in marriage? Yes, I do. I believe in marriage. I want the best for him. And Iyanla called me and thought that it can help him just, you know, um, just kind of deal with the issues that he has because we all do. I would totally do that because I would want somebody to do that for me. Valentine's Day is around the corner. Are we single or what are we doing? Uh, yes, I'm single. <laughs> okay, so w it would your next husband or Ocho again? Who knows? What would he? Oh my God, I don't know about that. <laughs> what would he look like outside of physical appearance? What is like the man gonna look like next go right? And it could be him, but whatever. I don't know. I just really want my um, my future husband. I just really want him to be. I know this is probably so cliche, but very God fearing, and and that's something that you know is really really important to me. Like the especially the last eight months, like. You know, people say, you know, you go through some stuff and you are like God's best friend. But, I mean, he truly got me through so much. So, that's first and foremost. I mean, whatever he looks like is fine. I mean, I guess all that will come. And you know what? This time, I'm like, I'm not choosing. I'm going to let him bring whoever that person is to me. And even if it takes three years, it's fine. I'm cool. <laughs> Before we get out of here, fashion, I know that you have your own sort of line. I hope it's going to be more affordable so I can afford it. Yes, yes, yes. My, um, You know, my uh, my line was supposed to be called E-Bible and Lazada, but it's going to be called Vida Lux. Okay. V-I-D-A-L-U-X. Because um, I was like, I don't, I wouldn't 
want to wear somebody's clothes for, I don't know, I just kind of wanted a funky name. Um, so me and Teresa, we've been working on that and um, I, w I wonder if I can say this because we're filming. I don't know if I can say this. I'm launching the line in a couple of weeks overseas. I could just say that. Okay. And what kind of line is it? Is it? It's a line of maxi dresses. We're going to have maxi dresses, so long, short, because filming in Miami, so many girls were like, where can we get these maxi dresses? So I was like, oh my God, I'm totally going to do this. And then we're going to have those, you know, like sexy shirts that you can wear with denim, sort of stuff like this, but you know, yeah. Okay. Last question. When are you most happy? I am most happy when I'm with my daughter. She's, she's doing her thing, too. My baby's doing her thing. Shout out to Shanice. But Shanice has been my rock through the last eight months. Like, she helped me through everything. Like, she took charge. So that's my girl. So she, when I'm with her, I'm the most happy. When I'm with her and my dogs, I'm the most happy. Is Shanice going to be your valentine? Shanice is going to be my valentine. That's okay. my baby. Always. I don't care if she's married with three kids. You're my girl. <laughs> well, thank you. It's been a pleasure.